Hey beloveds, thanks for tuning into Beanie TV where I offer you sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. I am trying out different layouts. Um, previous videos were in my new apartment and my bedroom. Now I'm trying out here because it hasn't been that sunny in Los Angeles. So I'm trying to find as much natural light as possible. I'm gonna get that diva ring. I'm gonna get it. Anyway, how are you guys? How are my manifesting mamacitas and my miracle-minded men? What is going on? Well, guan, well, guan. Okay. So can we talk about how American Apparel is closing, shutting down bankruptcy? Like, they will be no longer. Um, they're having amazing sales right now. I got this dress. Can you guys see it? She cute, she cute, she cute. Um, I got this dress for nine bucks and it's American Apparel, so all the clothing is made right here in America. So um, if you haven't gotten to American Apparel, go, I'm like telling everybody. Okay, so that's not what this video is about. This video is about what the leap of faith looks like. I almost said what the faith of leap looks like. <laughs> this video is about what the leap of faith looks like. As you guys know, um, I moved to Los Angeles almost three years ago to pursue a career in acting. It has been nothing but stretching but also this amazing thing of seeing your dreams happen right before your eyes your friends eyes your family's eyes and there is nothing more rewarding than personally for me my mom calling me and telling me that she is proud of me you know i wasn't really hearing that until i decided to take the leap of faith now before i moved to los angeles i was a working on the marketing team and i was doing social media for about six to seven european brands coming into the american market so i was doing their pinterest their facebook their um, instagram taking pictures of the jewelry putting it up figuring out which celebrities to ship or to send items to and hope that they would wear it so that we could get coverage i was pitching products to InStyle magazine um people style magazine red book so the job i had was cool i wasn't crazy about the company but if Maybe if I had a better attitude, it would have been a better experience, but everything happens exactly as it's supposed to. I was making really good money, or that was the best money I have made up to that point. And it was in New York, and I would see like my two really great college friends like all the time, you know. So for the most part, it was a pretty good job, it was a pretty good situation. But my soul was aching my spirit was aching to get out of there i have a, a bachelor's in fashion business um and it was the first time i was able to use my degree for a job like it had taken me so long to find a job and i finally found one and i was miserable and it took me sitting down and saying okay god what are we doing what are we doing you help me because help me understand what's going on because I'm making good money this is kind of a dope job um, but I am aching to leave and I'm mad and I'm going to work with an attitude and that's not me naturally that's not me um, and then I just started hearing like move to Los Angeles it's time you know and I had always known in my being that I would be living in Los Angeles I didn't know when I didn't know how old I would be whatever I, I just always knew in my spirit this is something that would happen and it happened when I was 24 and um, then I um, got a second job so I was working 9 to 5 and then I would work like 6 to 10 at a clothing store and I would you know come home maybe at midnight freaking watch Family Guy um, I would come home back to New Jersey so I'm still in New York so I'm working 9 to 5 at the office and then 6 to 10 at the clothing store getting on the New Jersey transit at like 11 o'clock not getting home until midnight not getting into my physical home until maybe 12 30 12 45 I remember it. like every time I would come home from the clothing store I would eat a big old cereal of Crave um, chocolate cereal and I would watch Family Guy and then I on Adult Swim and I would knock out wake up and do it all over again so what I'm saying is the leap of faith doesn't always look like Oh, my life sucks I need to change it sometimes your life can be so damn comfortable so damn perfect that you question whether the leap of faith is something you should do right now so understand that if you are feeling a pull to take that leap of faith not because 
you are frustrated or because you're like angry or you're mad you know there's a difference between making changes and taking a leap of faith you know if you don't like your job find another one if you don't like where you live find a new apartment and do the things you have to do to change what you can change but if your soul is aching like mine was and if you know in your spirit because you have received the message to take a leap leap of faith and and go to school for medicine or move to North Dakota then take that leap of faith but do the things that you have to do to make sure that that leap is as cushiony as possible so that is why I went to get a second job you'll see in my I have two videos about how I saved like five thousand dollars in like I think it was three months It's because I had a really good paying nine to five and I wasn't paying rent and I had a pretty decent paying five, uh, six to ten but the leap of faith doesn't always look perfect it, it, it doesn't always look a mess sorry it doesn't always look a mess sometimes it looks like you look crazy for leaving a situation because to other people's perception you have everything but you are dying on the inside so I ask you to look around before you take the leap of faith and understand that nothing good great magnificent happens in the comfort zone not one thing um, and I want to make it super clear don't make a leap of faith just because you are frustrated with your current life situation life situations can change they can change you can change them I'm talking about deep down in your soul okay I can't do this anymore I know God is telling me to do something different I know life is pushing me to do something different that's what I'm talking about leap of faith so I thank you guys for tuning in follow me on Twitter I'm really active on Twitter um, at be me tv and catch me on insta stories i'm an insta stories girl i'm not a snapchat girl so sorry if you follow me and ain't shit happening um thank you guys for tuning in and share this video with anyone you know needs to receive it and i'll see you guys next video